Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about cetramide agar medium. Now, this is actually the twenty-fourth video lecture related to the culture media. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about cetramide medium. Cetramide medium is actually a selective medium. It is not the differential medium. Okay, it is actually a selective medium. Which we specially used for the identification and isolation of Pseudomonas aeruginosa from clinical and non-clinical specimen. Why? It is because it mostly inhibit the growth of other bacteria because it contain the quaternary ammonium salt, which can inhibit all bacterial growth except Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So that's why we can say it is a selective medium only for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Let's talk the composition. So it is composed of pancreas digest of gelatin, which have 20 parts, which have 20 gram, potassium sulfate 10 gram, magnesium chloride 1.4 gram, cetyl trimethyl ammonium brom uh, bromide is 0.3 gram, glycerine 10 ml, agar 14 gram, distilled water 1 liter. Now let's talk the principle of this medium. The presence of pancreatic digest of gelatin mostly provide the nutrients that are specially important for the pseudomonas growth like uh, nitrogen, nitrogen, vitamins and carbons. Now the presence of cetramide mostly inhibit the growth of other bacteria uh, because it is acting as a selective agent and it is also acting as a detergent as well. So whenever the bacteria are growing so, uh, uh, except uh, pseudomonas, so what actually happening in this media, they release nitrogen and phosphorus. Uh, due to this way, the bacterial cell will burst uh, and other b uh, bacteria will not like pseudomonas will not burst and they will grow. We have glycerol uh, that is act uh, that mostly provide the carbon source. Uh, and then we have magnesium chloride and dipotassium sulfate. Uh, so Due to the presence of these two uh, ingredients, they can pyridine and pycoin pigments. These two molecules are combined to give a color, like uh, to give a characteristic like green color colonies, which is the Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Agar is acting as a solidifying agent, which can provide stable uh, surface for the bacterial growth. Distal water is specially used for the uh, to mix all the ingredient. Then we have the preparation. Now let's talk how to prepare this media. First of all, we have to add 45.3 gram of the medium in 1 liter of the distilled water. Then we add 10 ml of glycerol and boil to dissolve it completely. Now after that, we have to sterilize it uh, using autoclave machine at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After sterilization at 50 degrees Celsius, the media should be poured into sterilized petri plate. Then the bacteria which we take it should be streaked on the surface on the agar surface and after streaking the plates should be incubated at 37 degrees celsius for 24 or 18 hour or overnight incubation uh, mostly we put the plate in inverted position to prevent the colony from the moisture then we have the result of this media so as we talk that it is mostly used for the pseudomonas isolation and identification so pseudomonas mostly produce yellow to green uh, blue color colonies which indicate uh, the production of pycosine that are the green pigments. Uh, then we have uh, we, sh we have to examine the colony of this pseudomonas aeruginosa under the short wavelength of uh, ultraviolet light. Uh, it can mostly uh, uh, show the presence of fluorescence that is uh, mostly present uh, that is mostly present in pseudomonas aeruginosa. The limitation of this uh, using this media is that uh, mostly we have uh, bacteria like we call that uh, entrecy. So entrecy are also, uh, you know, producing yellowish pigments, uh, cardoonies, uh, so, uh, but uh, if you see it under the UV light, so it will not produce the fluorescences. Uh, moreover, we also, you know, uh, moreover, another two, two other scientists uh, named Lobori and Collins. Uh, 
they actually uh, they actually you know isolated the pseudomonas aeruginosa but uh, they examined that uh, at uv light uh, the pseudomonas still not produce the florences it is because of the pseudomonas uh, was kept at room temperature so if it is kept at room temperature so obviously it will not produce the florences under the uv light moreover for that purpose to reduce this limitation the pseudomonas uh, original subplate should be reincubated uh, and after that uh, it can easily be visualized uh, under the uv light for the florences thus what we uh, uh, concluded we concluded that uh, further test should be performed for the complete identification of the pseudomonas originosa now as we can see all these are the pictures of the pseudomonas originosa okay all these are the strain different strain of the pseudomonas originosa that are mostly grow on this media so that's all about the pseudomonas originosa pseudomonas agar medium so that's all about the citramide agar medium i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching